Hi guys, today I'm here to bring you a circuit style reformer workout. Today our goal is to get our heart rate up while simultaneously working our core, our legs, and our arms. As far as equipment goes, what you'll need is a reformer, a box, and also I have added a standing platform onto my reformer. This is not a necessity, but it helps me feel a little more stable during standing work. So if you feel like you wanna add that onto your reformer and you have that option, please feel free. The setup of the workout will be a warm up followed by seven circuits. Each circuit is comprised of two exercises. Each exercise will be done for 40 seconds, and those two exercises will be repeated three times to complete the circuit. As always, during your workout, make sure you modify as necessary. Please feel free to adjust the springs as well. When you are ready, gather your equipment and we will get started. So I have my reformer set up on one heavy spring. My standing platform is on and we're gonna start on all fours facing towards the foot bar. So when you're ready, come on over. We're gonna place our hands directly underneath our shoulders, our knees directly underneath our hips, our feet against the shoulder blocks. Slide the shoulder blades down your back and just push the carriage out maybe an inch, maybe half an inch. Keep the carriage still for now. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale and extend that spine forward, arching the back, and then exhale, round the spine, puffing up the back of the rib cage. Inhale, extending the spine, and exhale, rounding the spine. We'll do that a few more times here, trying to keep the carriage as steady in space as possible as we move. Find that deep breath here, warming up through the back. Let's do two more. And last time through, inhaling, extending the spine, exhaling, rounding the back. Beautiful, when you're ready, come back into a neutral spine here, belly button drawing up to the back. Extend your right arm up to the ceiling, rotating through the spine, and then exhale, reach that arm underneath you and gaze to your left. Inhale, reach that arm up to the ceiling, rotating, and exhale, reach under, rotating the other way. Let's do three more this side. Big breath still. And two more, keeping that carriage as steady in space as possible. And last time through. Good, come on up, place both hands back underneath the shoulders, reset the shoulder blades on the back, and we'll go to the other side. So inhale that arm up to the ceiling, exhale, reach it underneath you and twist. Inhale back up, rotating that chest open, exhaling, reaching under. Let's do three more just like that. And two. And last time here. Beautiful. Coming back onto all fours, fingertips together about shoulder distance apart. From here, we're gonna press the carriage out till we find a plank position, and then just press the carriage out a little further and come on back in. Inhale out, and exhale in. Inhale out and exhale in, beautiful job. Keeping distance between your ears and your shoulders. Imagine that you're squeezing a little orange underneath your armpit as you come back home. Last three. Last two. And last time through. Beautiful. All right, bring those shoulders over those wrists, shift your weight into your right leg, extend your left leg back behind you. From here, we're gonna do a little Pilates push-up. So bend the elbows towards the ribs, and then straighten the elbows. Bend the elbows towards the ribs, and straighten the elbows. As you bend those elbows, the carriage will move back. Good, for four. And three. Exhale, press away from that standing platform, last two. And last time. Come all the way back up, shoulders over the wrist, and switch your feet out. 
So other leg extends back behind you. When you're ready, bend the elbows, dipping the chest towards your standing platform, and then come on up and down and up. Let's do three more here. And two. And last time through. Bring both knees down, bring the carriage back underneath you. From here, we're just gonna rotate over onto our seat. We'll bring our sit bones nice and close to the shoulder blocks and roll the spine down so that the bottom tips of the shoulder blades are right at the edge of the carriage. From here, hands go back behind the head. Open your chest up over the side of the carriage and then exhale, curl the head, neck, and chest up. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Coming into that beautiful forward flexion, sliding the ribs down to the hips. Adding on here, when you're ready, one knee lifts and taps, then the other knee lifts and taps down to the headrest. Good, let's do four more here, exhaling and inhaling. Last two, last time. Beautiful, lift your left knee into tabletop, curl your upper body into forward flexion, and now let's just rotate to that side and back center. Exhale, rotate, and back center. Just warming up the abdominals a little bit before we get into our circuits. Let's do four more on this side. Exhale, lift up and over. The last two, and last time. Coming back through center, let's just switch out the feet and go to the other side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift and rotate. Exhale, lift and rotate. Let's do six. The last four. The last two. And last time, come back center, lift the head, neck, and chest up even higher, draw both knees into the chest, arms grab onto the outsides of the shins. Use the strength of your shins pulling you forward to curl up even deeper into that forward flexion. When you're ready, we're extending our arms and legs away from each other, sweeping our arms out to the side and hugging everything back in. Inhale out, exhale, sweep and curl. Inhale out, exhale, sweep and curl. Let's do four more here. Carriage is steady, nice and smooth movement. Last two, and last time. Good, hands behind the head, toes to the ceiling. Extend one leg down and forward, and then switch to the other. For eight, seven, six, last four, three, Two and one, both toes to the ceiling, soft bend in the knees, turn the soles of your feet together and press them in. Inhale, lower the feet, exhale, lift the feet. Inhale, lower the feet, exhale, lift the feet. Press your low back deeply down to the carriage now. You've just got four more. Three, find that breath, exhale. The last two. And one more time. Beautiful, bend those knees into the chest, interlace your fingers over your thigh, over your shins, and just rock a little side to side. Beautiful, when you're ready, let's roll ourselves up and get into those circuits. So we are going to put our box on to begin. We'll take that box on, short box style, in front of the shoulder blocks. Make sure it's nestled deeply against those shoulder blocks just gonna get my timer ready so we can get going. And we are going to stand up on our standing platform. So we're gonna carefully stand up. For me, I'm gonna put my heels right on my foot bar. If you don't have that option, you could hover the heels or have your heels down. When you're ready, what we're gonna do is just squat. So coming down and up down and up. Now we have 40 seconds of work here in this position, and then we will move on to the next exercise. Remember, we have three rounds of both exercises, and then we will take a little break. Good. Right now we're about halfway through.
Beautiful job. In 10 seconds, we're gonna take our hands onto our box, pushing out into a plank in three and two, and one, beautiful hands come to the box. We press the carriage out. We come in, shift the weight into the feet and stand down, out, in, and stand. Take your time with this one in your transitions. It is like a modified burpee. Good. Just about 10 seconds left and then we will go right back into our squats. Nice, last three, and two, and one. Back into your squat position, and come down, and down, and down. Good, my feet are about sit bone distance apart, chest is lifted, arms are strong, heart rate is lifted. Halfway through. Ten seconds left. Good. And then we go right back into that burpee. In five, four, three, two, and one. Transition. Hands down. Press out. Come in and stand. Hands down. Belly is braced throughout. Beautiful job, you're more than halfway there. Good, 10 seconds left and then we go into our last round of both exercises. In five, four, three, two, and one, back into your squats, and down, and down. Good, I apologize about the heavy breathing here. Halfway through, guys. Good, 10 seconds. Last set coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down, press out, come in, and stand. Good. Beautiful job. Our legs will get a break in a moment. More than halfway through. Last 10 second, seconds. See if we can get through two more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Carefully come down. We just have a few seconds to transition into our next set. So standing sideways in a squat position this time, one foot on the standing platform, one foot against the box. We're going back into those squats, slightly different this, S this time. Press the carriage out just a little bit, and now we're gonna cross punch down, and up, and down, and up. Your goal is to keep the carriage as steady in space as possible as we do this. Down and up. You're already halfway through this first exercise. Really firing up those legs. That's it in five, four, three, two. We pulse. Pulse that squat. Down and up. Down and up. Beautiful. So you've got those cross punches coming up and down in your squat, and then you have that squat pulse. Those are our two exercises. Again, we're going to go through each three times. Keep that heart high, the tailbone reaching down towards the floor, and settle in here. Let your heart rate come down a little bit before we get back into those cross punches. 
That's it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Stand, give your legs just a second. When you're ready, find that stance. Come down, come up, come down. Retract those punches back towards the chin. Belly is braced throughout. More than halfway there, guys. Just 10 seconds and we go back into that squat pulse. Last four, three, two, and one. Find your squat, pressing the carriage out just an inch. Come down and up just a bit. Good, push your heels straight down to the floor. Lift that chest high. Again, let that heart rate come down on these little pulses. Relaxing the shoulders. More than halfway through. Good, last 10 seconds. We have one more round of each exercise coming in five, four, three, two, and one. Give those legs a moment. Last round, down and up and down and up. And then we will really get a significant break for those legs in the circuit that's coming up next. Good. Halfway through. That's it, last five, four, three, two, and last one. Give those legs a second when you're ready. Last exercise, down and up just an inch. An inch the size of a paper clip, right? Really super tiny, smaller than you might imagine. Weight through those heels, heart is high. We're halfway there. Good, last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and stand. Very nice, carefully step down from there. We are gonna go into an arm and core circuit coming up next. So we'll have one hand on the standing platform, one hand on the reformer, and we're gonna be pressing out into a push-up. So you're in your plank, we're coming down and up in three and two and one when you're ready. Out and up. Now I am limited for space in my private studio. So my hands are fairly far forward on the reformer, but yours can be further back. You don't have to match me if you have more space than I do. All right, 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two and one, bring those hands underneath your shoulders. And now we're gonna just drive the knees in towards the carriage, little mountain climbers here. And in, and in, in. Now you can pick up the pace faster than me or stay nice and steady and slow, controlled. 20 seconds left. Good. 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, and one. Take a moment. We are going back into our push ups. Press it out when you're ready. Down and up. Feet can be together or slightly bit, a slight bit wider. I'm just adjusting my hands. Keep on going down and in. Good, take breaks when necessary. 10 seconds left here.
in five, four, three, two, and one. We're back to those climbers. Take your moment, align your hands underneath your shoulders and drive those knees in, in, in. Shoulders over those wrists. Good, again, you can run these faster than me or go slower. This is your workout, we're halfway there. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more round of each, good. Take your time, get into position, and back to those push-ups. We press out and down, and up and in. Out and down, and up and in. Now, if you don't need the breaks, please feel free to eliminate them. I just know that I am feeling quite fatigued today. We've just got 10 more seconds here on these push-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, last round. Climb those knees into your chest. In, in, in. Halfway there. Can we pick up the pace a little bit? Last 15 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, oh, all right, beautiful job, guys. From here, we are gonna turn all the way around. We're gonna repeat our squat set facing side. So I'm sorry my back will be to you. We're gonna take one foot up onto the standing platform, other foot up onto the carriage next to the box. We'll press the carriage out just a little bit and go for those cross punches down and up. So now you know what's coming. We will change the pulse just slightly, but fairly similar exercise. This should feel nice. Give those arms a break. Halfway there. Remember, we're trying to keep the carriage as steady as possible. I know mine is moving slightly, but I am doing my best here to stay steady. 10 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Now stay low, pulse with a little side punch. Up, down, up, down. Good, so punching shoulder and then knee height. Chest is lifted, gaze is at the hand that is moving. We're more than halfway there. That's it, last 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, back into those punches, down and up and down. Rotating through that waist here. You're doing great. More than halfway through. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse. Other arm up, down, up, down. Set those hips down and back. Other hand can just be right at the chin. Keep going. Good, you're halfway through, guys. That's it. Last 10 seconds, and then we just have one more round. You're doing so good. 
in five, four, three, two, and one. Give those legs a second, and we go back into those cross punches. Here we go, down and up. I'm right there with you, down and up. That's it. Carriage as steady and space as possible. I know it's hard once you get fatigued, but do your best. Last 10 seconds here. Good. And then we are going to, for our last set, do half our punches on the left, half our punches on the right. I'll call when to switch. Good, when you're ready, come down. Up and down on the left. Just an inch up, an inch down. That's it. In five, four, three, two, let's switch arms. Last 20 seconds in this circuit. Beautiful job, guys. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, carefully come on down. All right, good news, bad news, we're off our legs. That's good news, bad news, we're back to our arms. Same set on the other side that we did before. So we start with those push-ups, we go to those climbers. Take your time, take breaks when necessary. We'll get ready to go in three, and two, and one. Set it up. Good, legs are together, slightly separated. Come down and out, and up and in. What's nice is those arms have had a significant amount of time to recover. Inhale out, exhale in, belly is braced. You have 10 seconds left. Last four, and three, and two, and one. Bring those hands in underneath the shoulders, and when you're ready, drive those knees under, under, under. Quick or slow, remember your pace. Shoulders over those wrists. Halfway through. Last 10. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take a moment, roll out those wrists, get prepared for round two. Hands wide, toes back behind, out into your push up and back in. That's it. Form comes first, so if you feel so fatigued that your form is slacking, just take a break and come back in when you're ready. We're more than halfway through here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, we're back into our climbers. In and in. That's it. Hands under shoulders, hold that carriage closed. You've got this. Last 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take a moment, roll the shoulders, last round, last set of push-ups in the whole class. Stand back, press out, pull in. Press out, pull in. Inhaling. And exhaling, halfway there. See if you can hang on to it with me. Last 10 seconds. 
Last five, four, three, two, and one. Last round, last 40 seconds here. Hands under shoulders and drive those knees up, up, up. Maybe pick up this pace this last round. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds left. That's it, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Okay, from here we are gonna sit on top of our box. We've just got two circuits left. So abdominal circuit, two exercises here. We're gonna have our hands back on the box. Toe taps is our first exercise towards your standing platform. Tailbone is close to the front edge of that box. Lean it back. And when you're ready, tap the toes. Chest is lifted, belly is braced. You're trying to keep that carriage as steady in space as possible. We're here to let our heart rate come down a little bit. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise. We come into a ball, we extend into a boat. We come into a ball, we extend into a boat. Inhaling and exhaling our breath. Use caution on top of the box. It is a smaller surface, obviously, than being on a mat. So take your time. We're more than halfway there. Inhale, exhale, less than 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, take that moment, relax those hip flexors. We're back into our toe taps. Hands come back, knees come up. When you're ready, tap and tap. Tap. Now, if the feet don't come all the way down, that's fine, right? You can make this movement much smaller. Woo. Keep going. Breaks whenever you need. Come back in when you can. 10 seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit up for a moment. Give those legs a break. When you're ready, we're back into our ball. Hug it in, come into your hollow. Hug it in, come into your hollow. This movement does not have to be particularly quick. We're focusing on drawing those abdominals deeply into the spine, finding range of motion here in the hips and the knees as we pull in. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more round of each. Are we ready? Toe taps here, lean it back. One knee comes up and switch and switch and switch. Heart is high. Keep that breath flowing. We're halfway there. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last exercise in this circuit. Find that balance in your ball pose. When you're ready, extend it long and low and bring it up and in. Long and low and up and in. We're halfway there already. Good job, guys. Last five, 
four, three, two, and one. Lower those feet down, very nice. We have made it to our last circuit. We are gonna come off of here for a second, turn over so that we can come down onto our forearms on our box. Our feet will be on our standing platform and we are going into some cross climbers. So we're gonna press out into plank in three, and two, and one, press it out, hold the carriage steady, cross one knee under the body, and then the other. In this exercise, we're not really going for speed. I want you to focus on keeping the carriage steady and still, rotating deeply through the waist, and keeping the elbows right underneath the shoulders. We're halfway there. Good, you're doing great. Last 10. Last five, four, three, two. We go right into pikes, both feet together, inner thighs together. Lift the hips up and press the carriage out. Lift the hips up and press the carriage out. That's it, nice long spine. We are halfway there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those knees, reset. Two more rounds. We go back to those cross climbers, elbows under shoulders, press it out and cross the knee, under, under. Good job, 10 seconds left. For five, four, three, two and one, feet together behind you, pike and plank, pike and plank. All the way in, all the way back out. Halfway there. Ten seconds left, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those knees for a moment. We have one more round of each. Roll those shoulders. Get ready for those cross climbers. Find your position and begin. Press it out and cross under and under. You got it, halfway there. Spine is long, neck is long. Last eight, seven, six. Last four, three, two, right into it, last round. Pike those hips and press it out. Pike and press. You're doing great. Good. Halfway through, last exercise in the last circuit, and then we are just stretching. You can do this, you've just got 10 seconds left. Proper form here is of the utmost importance. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Bend those knees, carefully place them down. Very nice job. Okay, so we are gonna remove our box. Just place it off to the side, we are done with it. And we are going to carefully take off all of the springs on our carriage and just move the carriage out a little bit. Now you're gonna carefully just step into the well here. 
Bring one shin up onto the carriage, knee can be down, hands on the side rails, and we are just gonna press the carriage out until you feel a nice stretch. Good, through the hips, through the front of the quadricep. You can feel free to move slightly forward and back here. Let the heart rate come down, let the breath settle. Good. All right, from here we're gonna come halfway in. We're gonna turn our front foot and our back knee out so that we're in external rotation and then just sink down one more time, just stretching into the hips in a slightly different position. Good. Hold here for just a few more seconds. And then when you're ready, we'll carefully bring the carriage back in, bring that foot down onto the floor and switch it out to the other side. Just very careful with lack of springs on as you move and then press that carriage out. Thigh bones are parallel to one another for now. You can feel free to move a little bit forward and back or stay nice and steady and still. Good, come halfway in, externally rotate both legs and come on back out again. All right, bring the carriage in. We're carefully gonna step out of the well and place one heavy spring back onto the reformer. And now just have a seat. From here, take one hand across the body, stretching out the back of the shoulder. Very nice job. Take that same hand back behind you, elbow towards the ceiling, lean a little bit away from that side. Release, other arm crosses over the chest, stretch out the back of the shoulder. And then take that hand back behind your shoulder blades and stretch out the back of the arm. Good, from here, interlace your fingers in front of you, round the spine and press the hands forward. Take your hands behind you, interlace them, and arch the back, taking your gaze up. Good, release those hands, inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down, and one more time, inhale it up, and exhale it down. I hope you enjoyed that workout. I know it was a tough one for me. Let me know in the comments what you thought about that. As always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. Um, and again, thank you so much for working out with me. I really do appreciate it. Have a great guy day, guys.